Hello and welcome back to Howard Disc Golf. We've got round one, back nine coverage of the 2020 Music City Open. Today I'm joined with Chris Casey. How are you doing, Chris? I'm doing pretty well. Looking forward to the back nine. Good deal. Well, we got Ellen sitting at two down heading into the back. Uh, we are on hole 10, par three, 392 feet. This is downhill, and you you got to have a clean drive on this one. Mm -hmm. um, there's no other way around it because if you hit an early tree, you're going you're looking at a four Definitely. most likely. I'm hoping that we see a bunch of good up the shut uh, up the gut shots and see what happens with these drives. Looking for the flick turnover, got through, settles up a little early, but shot an approach. Yep. Yeah. She'll be looking at her three. Looks like Holly's taking a... Oh, what a shot. This is finesse. That's great. Man, she... Yeah, she'll she have a... She'll have a longer look, and a look on hole 10 is impressive. Mm -hmm. Look at how far... I mean, it's far down there. Oh, and she sneaks around on it. the right side of the tree. That oh, and then she gets some love. And she's oh, got herself yeah. up. Close, but outside the circle. That's great. I fought through there. All right, she's got a flick, man. Nice little flex, finesse. That is awesome shot. Mm. Great drive by Callie. If you can get over that little ditch right there on the drive, oh, that's that's what you're looking for. But you gotta hit that early gap to get there. Callie gave that a, a respectful run. Looks like Holly's just laying it up. Nice and smooth. Yeah. Get your... Nothing wrong with taking a, a three on this hole. Hokitrito gave that a run. Just catching the cage. That's yep. rough. That elevated basket. Yeah, elevated basket. Get mm -hmm. you. Ellen takes her par. It's kind of it kind of resembles an island fixture, but it's not an island. Mm -hmm. It's just recommended <laughs> um, just kind of corral the discs when they get close yeah and I bet you there have been some terrible rollaways on that thing too mm. for you sure one of those logs clean oof for sure and Cali taps in so a whole bunch of pars there ain't nothing wrong with that <laughs> excited Cali, like, <laughs> Cali likes pars it's an even <laughs> hole 11 uphill 204 feet there ain't uh, nothing but a straight shot yep nothing but a straight shot is all you need elevation will get to you and it's a, it's a lot easier to release early anything can happen but it's staring right at you now this flex flick is there oh I just didn't lean but it still made it up yeah, she's gonna have that downhill putt mm -hmm. Holly's got the Holly's got the backhand. Turn oh, hits that tree and mm -hmm. she's still looking at a putt. It's just gonna be more uphill at a you know, further distance. <sighs> Katrina released that one a little bit early. Yeah. Got caught up in that shrubbery. All fluid. Misses yes, right there. It did. Right up to the basket. That's parked. Great throw. Yeah, that's parked. Katrina with the, oh man, I just feel like maybe she rushed that one a little bit. She'll get that one close, but she she has she has to make that one for the par. And that's a far. I mean, yeah, it's got some distance oh, on it. It's looking good. Oh, just a little, just a little little. short. She can bounce back from that, but she definitely can. Ooh, dang. With the forces it in the back. Cash. Yeah. That's cash money. Mm -hmm. And then Callie doing the same, tapping in her bird. Back down with the evens. Cat's taking a bogey after an unfortunate upshot. Yeah, two trees. That, that's rough. But this course is so wooded. I mean, it's so easy. You can hit a tree all the time. For sure. On to hole 12. This is a long one. Uh, 
par three, 379 feet. Low ceiling, uh, you have to finesse a, a backhand, let it hopefully hides her out at the end and leave you close enough in this little area just to leave an up, you know, an upshot par. That's all it'll really, that's all you really want on this one. Yeah, you've got to have a pretty big arm to make it all the way up that hill to the basket. It's, it's a long hole and that elevation makes it even longer. Oh Great yeah, that's a good that. flick. That's a placement shot right up there, yeah. And she can finesse something up there and she can definitely make that work for her. Great backhand. Callie's got a balanced backhand shot right in the middle. Yep. It's really what you're wanting to look for is just that placement right in the fairway so you just have an easy little highs for up. Holly. Holly's a little left. Just a little early. Just a little left. And let's see if she wants to have to stand, but that that's a little left. She'll have a – oh, yeah, she's got a gap for her backhand shot. Yeah. Will it get to skip? Wide to skip. Yeah, that's, that's within the circle. Ooh, the roller. Holly, Holly whipping out the flick that's roller nice. game over lean. the roots. Ooh. And it ramps. Yeah, that root leaned it the right direction. That was great. I mean, that's a cool shot. Yes. You got to whip it out. Very well executed. Whip it out if you got it. Look at that. That's a finesse flick. Ah, that's my favorite shot in the game. Just how it settles down flat like that. Oh, yeah. Great shot. Favorite shot in the game for show. Woodboom puts it close. Let's see if Holly can put this stud in the basket. Mm, great putt. Yeah. Shazam. That's a good shot. After the roller. Nice par. Oh, yeah. And then... Cat cans the three. Walking it down. Mm -hmm. A three on that uphill shot? That ain't bad. That ain't bad. Just goes to show. Get it get it in the fairway. We'll tap in. It's a whole bunch of pars. Yep. <laughs> on to hole 13. Standard hyzer. Some people might go higher because there's a it just falls right down into the bucket. 276 feet. Uh, this is a standard shot. Yeah. Nothing too hard. A lot of these girls are going to be throwing some mid-range or maybe even a fairway driver. Throwing it out there and letting it hyzer back in just yeah. like this. Letting the disc do the work. Yeah, and then it kind of filters back and she is in the circle. Yeah. Staring at a birdie on hole 13. Callie's doing the smooth act, and it's in the circle, they just looking for that, a birdie that little on 13. <laughs> <laughs> that little skip off that hill was just so useful. They just kept using it all weekend. They watched this. Oh, yeah. In the circle. Very nice. Looking for a bird out. <clears throat> all right, Katrina got it. High shot. Yeah. Trying it's to drop caught it in. up a little bit. Just a little. Still got a putt. Let's see if she can hit it. Woo! Oh! Just short. Almost in there. Let's see if Ellen can make some magic. Boom. Just put it in the chains. With boom goes boom. Finley. <laughs> Finley putting in. I mean, that's a birth. I mean, that area is just basically consistent with how it happened all weekend. You just want to have that little skip off the hill in down there for a shorter putt and finish it up like that. Yeah, exactly. Callie got her bird. And then Katrina tapping out her par. On to hole 14, 
307 feet. This is a shot that there's a big tree right in the middle of where you actually want your disc to do its work. Uh, so <laughs> about right here, you want it, your disc to start turning. If you flick, you can do a high uh, backhand line if you want. That tree is a factor and there's gaps on both sides. So let's see yeah. what these ladies shoot. There is a little tunnel on that right side. and It's possible, but it's tight. Definitely oh, tight. Great flick. Just get it out there. Ellen oh. has such a good turn-up flick game. It's ridiculous. And I, I do like uh, I do like this route. Do the full flex. Mm -hmm. Looks like that one might have gotten a little wider. Just than, a little bit. Maybe a little wider, but, but there's that gap. There's that line. Look. Still a little Oh, she's throwing that dish. She keeps flipping. It's oh, a, yeah. It's a oh, a little up. too much? I'd be willing to say that's like a rock three... Katrina with the straight shot. Ooh, just kept traveling. Went long. But it's there might be a line. Oh she's she's got a big old tree in her way. Yeah. Ellen flicking up the Nova. Smooth. And then Callie just, you know, tapping that in. <laughs> she's like, Did you get that? It's not fooling around. Not fooling around at all. Ooh, Katrina giving that a Respectful bid. Holly just had to kind of pitch out there. She was in the in the trees. A little thick area. Yeah, in the thicket. Oh yeah, just bounced around. But it stuck. Hey, she saved the par. Mm -hmm. She's playing great. And as you look at the scores, I mean she's beating yeah. Callie by three. Beating Katrina. I mean she's putting in work right now. Just go, like in the woods, having a solid flick is crucial. Very important. Very important. On the hole 15, this is probably one of the hardest holes on the course. It's a doozy. Folks show. Par 4, 648 feet, land right here, and then have another shot that allows it to get the full flex out of it, get down towards the basket, maybe pitch up for, have a putt for a birdie. Yeah. Definitely. Walking away with a four on this hole is ideal. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of trees that guard it when you try to actually run it and you can get that roll away. But you really, your drive just has to make it up to the top of this hill. Be right in the middle. Ooh, that's looking smooth. That's a good shot. Oh, yeah, that's right oh, in the middle. Yeah. That's, that's what you want. And then you're just looking for that downhill. Nice straight shot. It kind of cuts in the woods. Ooh, just lean a little that, too much. <laughs> that flirted with that line, but it came back. Mm -hmm. Love it when they come back. Holly throwing backhand turnover. Turned over a little bit, and that just stayed right there. Tree she, saved her a little bit there. That's actually a good spot. Because mm -hmm. she has open exactly. spot on the left for her next shot, oh. so she can flex it down there and have all the room. What a throw. That's... Yeah. Yeah. That's perfect. That's the spot you want to be in. Let's see if she can finesse and if it flips. Oh, it is. Boy, is it flipping. What a What throw. a shot. Let's see that thing work. Is it cut in? Look at that, dude. Let's go. Oh, yeah. That's a great shot and a little bit of, a little bit of roll. How close is this? A little bit of roll. Oh, look at that. My goodness. That's perfect. Callie's got all the room on the right to work with. Is it come Push back? It. She said anytime now, and it came back. She'll have a backhand approach at it, and she'll be looking, mm -hmm. hopefully, to save her four. Mm -hmm. She said not enough. Stays a little, a little too stable. This is a Katrina type of shot. Backhand, trying to reach... Lee oh, to it hit a tree. Up. If it didn't hit that tree, it was just going to scurry its way up there. Scurry one. <laughs> <laughs> Inside. A little flick roller. We're trying to get around the corner. Ooh. Just gets caught up early. Just got caught up a little early. Yeah. Ooh, turned. Turned, but hits, hits a little root, and that's great. That's part. Mm-hmm. Park City. This was a tight hole. 
And tight line. She oh, just gave it a great the, run. The thing is, they're all laying out. Yeah, she I is. Mean, she's going for putts this round. Then, oh my goodness. Holly is always so. She's on point with her line. Mm -hmm. She commits to him. And the <laughs> consistency. Yeah. She, the cage is fun. And just the. Just a tad bit of sarcasm in that. Just a tad. Just a little. Just a little bit. She's been all over the basket this round. Mm -hmm. Holly got her par. Callie tapping in hers. You know, the thing I like the most about uh, the round so far, we're seeing a variety of shots. Yeah. You got flicks. You have Holly, for example. She's backhand dominant. Mm -hmm. And it's it's nice to see how both of them can shape the shots however they need to. Yeah. Accordingly, like times where we would normally flick the more comfortable back in. Hole 16, 368 feet. You want to throw something out to the left and have it fade in to the right and then maybe pan out and hopefully slide your way down towards the pin. Uh, ideally. Yeah, yeah it's... that's ideal. There's a lot of a lot of things in the way, but you really just want it to cut into those woods, so you have to just put it out there far enough first. For sure. And Cal is taking that. That has oh. the opportunity, and it mm -hmm. caught up with something, and it got pushed left, but you can see right there. Yeah. She actually does have a look at it. And this is She's that backhand find. holly. It's holding out. Uh, looks like yeah. it's just on top of the hill, though. Yep. yep. Looks like it, it made okay. its way down there. So Got to look putt. at it. Yeah. That downhill putt, scary. Good. Easy to roll away down there. Yeah. So I have the height. Yeah, and that one just, you couldn't see, but it was just right at the top of the hill. She'll have a look. That cut into the woods there on the right, yeah. For sure. Ugh. And this forces the turnover shot, and Ellen throws it. Oh. Great. And that's, yeah, she'll have a look. Great. That scramble was very dumb. Holly's parked with that stud. And Katrina. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Callie with the deuce. That straddle putt just puts that's it a, in the basket. That that's was a great, great shot. Putt. Great shot there. And Ellen bringing mm -hmm. the fire. Those are not. That is an intimidating putt. Mm -hmm. She just forces it in. <laughs> such, yeah. a, such a great putt. I like that. Straight putt. Yeah. Straight putt. A little tap in finish. Holly tapping in the paw. <laughs> on the hole 17 part 3 415 feet what I found is backhand off the tee let it stand up and then just glide down towards the basket nothing too stable off the, off the tee let it just throw whatever you can throw flat let it stand up and then just glide its way down to the basket yeah, this hole was the one I remember that had the most wind to pay attention to. So you really had to focus on if you had the headwind, tailwind. But that's, that's, that's looking great. That's looking good. Oh, Big she skip, put a but great... That holds up. She put a great run on that. Yeah. Holly. She flipping it up. Just, I might be heisering out a little early. But she'll have a look there. She'll have a look from yeah, there. Yeah, you don't want to mess with the right side of this. So that's why a lot of people go straight down and the hyzer's out just a little early. But it's still, you still have a look at it from that side. Looks like Cat will be over there. Okay. A little more open. Yeah. Didn't go quite as far as Holly's. In a better position. Oh, and then, oh, oh that is turned over. Ah. Yeah, that's rough. She pitched out. Now she's just going to lay up and just take the forward and just get out of here. Yeah, 
that right side it'll it'll shut down your bird or your par really. Should put a good move on that. That'll be close enough to tap in. Got Holly from the woods. Oh, close one. Oh man! Oh, she's all over over those baskets. Oh, over oh, the man. cage. That's a good shot, oh, Callie. Great, Callie bird. got that bird. Let's put that thing slow. What a, what a shot. Oh, yeah. What a great putt. Yeah, these baskets, they, they catch so well. If you hit the chains, it usually drops it pretty quick to catch the uh, cage. Yeah, I think they're one of the more consistent baskets for sure. My favorite. We got Holly finishing up with the par. Callie, Callie's putting in work. <laughs> this back nine. Mm -hmm. Hole 18, final hole of this coverage. 533 feet, par four. If you wanna throw something off the tee that leaves this gap right here open, so you can throw it down, let it pan out, and trickle its way down to the basket. Um, it's a par four. They got plenty of room in the fairway, and she's taking advantage of it with a flex flick. Mm -hmm. If you can get the uh, flick to the edge of the woods, that's where you wanna be. But still, from where she's at, she saw has a nice little line. Holly throwing just a straight backhand. It's turning over a little bit. Oh, catches the tree. It kisses off that tree, and that'll be all right. Because she, she, she'll have that back. And then here's oh. the roller. Oh, man, this roller's sick. Oh, just dude. Turns right keep, in. Oh, man. Oh, come on. Dude, that is so long. I'm going to say something. Yeah. I'm going to say something. Those types of shots, that's big. That's big. Oh, Ellen. Ellen's got distance. With yeah, her she trick. caught that tree too, so she could even have more, but it's still a great shot. To Turnover get. shot by Holly. I mean, that's, that's perfection. She got herself a nice putt here. See if Callie... She's she's so good and like at the, oh the limb Man. she's so good at those finesse shots yeah her finesse flicks are look at that very shot long. too oh. hey good tree long look, sometimes but trees can be good yeah sometimes down the hill Katrina with the backhand she got a little bit of a putt left still still well within the circle. Callie's just pitching up, looking to finish finish the day, hopefully leading. Just cut off a little early. Yeah. That was a good run at it. She's gone after pretty much every putt this round. Oh, man. Oh, that. Yeah, that's rough. Just, just, the baskets aren't showing her any love mm -hmm. this round, whatever you're talking about. Um, so Holly. Right Holly with the bird. Parring it up for Callie. Could finish the 18. Yeah. Looks like she's going to have the, the lead, it looks like, on this card, at least. Yeah. Katrina's going to come tap in. I just want to take this time to once again say I appreciate these ladies for letting us film them. And shout out to all of the people and volunteers. Shout out to Dustin DeWinger for letting us stay with him, too. Got to shout him out. Thank you, Dustin. Callie is leading. Negative three, Ellen's right there at negative two, Holly and Katrina right on their tails. We're going to have the same card for round two, so be sure to tune in. We appreciate the support. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the video. We'll catch you in round two.